Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to this day the Lord has given us together. Today we will be meditating upon. Make your obstacles part of your success. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about in this topic. James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. Have the conviction that your goal is achievable. I had a good quote from one of the famous Hollywood actors. I have a motto on my bedroom wall. Obstacles are what you see when you take your eye off the goal. Giving up is not my style. I just want to do something that's worthwhile. I took it seriously and took advice and began posting the decals of encouraging words all around my house. I have two specific verses which I love. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. There will always be obstacles along the way. Hoping they will go away and things will fall in place is not the correct answer. When you're doing good and trusting in the Lord to be with you, take off your hands from the doorknob and let him open a door to your success. That doesn't mean do nothing. What it means is that we need to build a goal which benefits and brings glory to his name. Stick with it and do your due diligence and leave the rest on him. He has promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. There's always going to be obstacles in our lives. Do not be afraid. Instead of thinking about what you cannot do, think about what you can do. Use the obstacle as a means to become better. Ask him to provide you a wisdom through the Holy Spirit so you can think of some creative ways to overcome it. Make your obstacles a part of your success. This message also gives us a promise for our day today. The promise is, Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Mighty Wonderful God, Lord, as I start my day, I want you to fill me with the Holy Spirit as my helper throughout my day. So no matter what comes in front of me, I will not be shaken and take those obstacles and remove them by your holy name. Lord, train me and all who believe in you to trust you to be an overcome and bring more glory to your holy name and might name. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's willing, we will talk to you tomorrow.